Good morning. Thank you for giving me yet another chance to share with you my reflection, uh, experience on the developments in uh, Timor-Leste. As you already know, by uh, July, uh, July 7, we will uh, hold uh, legislative elections uh, for the next parliament and, and from which a new government will be drawn. Uh, and uh, this May, this month, we are celebrating 10th anniversary since uh, the handover restoration of independence after two years of uh, the United Nations mandated mission in Timor-Leste, where uh, my friend Paran, who is sitting here from Malaysia, together with Sergio de Mello, played a uh, critical uh, role in the uh, laying down of the foundations of the new state. We will be celebrating the 10th anniversary uh, with uh, mixed feelings, uh, mixed results. If we are to do an objective balance of uh, what we have achieved in the past uh, 10 years, we could not uh, be too uh, propagandistic like most to, uh, regimes or states are in that uh, we achieve uh, everything, and we did only wonders, but I think we must always, uh, leaders uh, must be always uh, humble and uh, honest and uh, not only uh, take note of our uh, successes, but also uh, shortcomings, uh, uh, failures. Failures are that we uh, went through some uh, serious political crisis like the one in 2006 that brought us to the edge of a civil war where uh, in the capital, at least Dili, our police almost completely imploded, our defense force was shattered by the desertion, defection, and expulsion, leading to uh, exacerbating uh, the problems. 150,000 uh, IDPs, uh, etc. And I was a direct personal witness to all of this. Back then I was Minister of Foreign Affairs and it was heartbreaking uh, when uh, often I would travel through the city with uh, a security guard and security guard was driver because I didn't, my security entourage, my drivers all gone, disappeared. 